bro, they what you Whoa. shit in the bed. Oh, who say does that star spangle banner yet wave o'er the land of the free in the heart? And that was Skylar Cole singing the national anthem. A fantastic rendition. What you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb? You can call that mental freeze when these people talk too much. Put that heat in slow motion, yeah. I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. Ay. What you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb? You can call that mental freeze when these people talk too much. Put that heat in slow motion, yeah. I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. What you know about rolling? Hi everyone, time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. With Brett Barry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan, and David Aldridge will be joining us on the sideline as well. DA, take it away. Thanks very much. Now, improving NBA officiating has gone high tech. Today, the NBA uses the proprietary game review system, which is broken down from double digit camera angles. Analysts spend a day or two dissecting each game. And Kevin, that data is used for evaluating, training, and communication with the teams. Isn't that something? I mean, every day there's something new. Fascinating, fascinating stuff, DA. Thank you. Now, a look at Dallas's starting lineup. At the guard positions, it's Doncic and Hardaway Jr. Inside form, it'll be Finney Smith and McGee. And it's Bullock in at the three. And for Oklahoma City. Outside the wings are Gilgis Alexander and Dort. Then there's Holmgren. And it's Pokushevsky in at the four. Now we know the players enjoyed the rest they get during All-Star Weekend. But Greg, you think it should be moved to later in the season? I like how the current format splits up the season, but it seems more fair to hold an All-Star towards the end of the season so that voters get a more complete look at each player. Now here's Doncic. Four on the shot clock. Hardaway passes to McGee, and it's McGee with the jam. So many different offenses Tim that Tim Hardaway Jr. has played in, but he's trying to improve in his on-court awareness. A good show of it there. Here's Mann. Passes it to Holmgren. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Mann. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. And it's always nice to get the easy look inside for your first points of the game. About a minute played so far here in the first. Hard away against Gilgis Alexander. Doncic outside. Puts it up from 12. And it's McGee with the jam. And the all-around game of Doncic, not just a scorer, but a great dime dropper as well, notices his open teammates quickly. First quarter, about a minute and a half in. Gilgis Alexander against Hardaway. McGee sets the pick for Doncic. From downtown... The Mavericks rebound, and it's McGee with the jam. That is a product of pure effort, guys. I agree, and that's nothing new coming from him, GA. He loves going to work on the rebounding, going to work on the board. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, box out, or he'll destroy you. Here's Mann. The Mavericks making the shot. Up top, Dort. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Over Hardaway. 
Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. The Mavericks have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. I mean, OKC's draft pick haul in the Paul George trade was massive. But the best part of that deal, getting SGA. The SGA has been the face of the franchise the past couple seasons, and his game just continues to grow. He's signed all the way through 2027. Is he the first building block, or is he going to develop into a player that people covet, and they're going to try to pluck away? We'll see. Dort passes to Gilgis Alexander. There's the triple. The shot, no good. And the Mavericks going the other way now. They defeated the Pelicans in their last game. And as shaky as they looked in that game, guys, it showed a lot of mental toughness that they were able to come out and get a win. Here's Mann. He's coming off a 31-point game against Washington. The pass to Holmgren. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. They need this one, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's on JaVale McGee. He gets really smooth sometimes. Gilgis Alexander has some size. He challenged the defense with it that time. Taking two shots. That's good from Gilgis Alexander. Oklahoma City had one of the all-time NBA trios, didn't they? Brent Durant and Harden and Westbrook, three future MVPs. I mean, I don't know that we'll ever see that again. Yeah, incredible, Kevin. Going to that finals in 2012, I mean, obviously really young and green at that time. But unfortunately, Harden was traded away that summer. They took a hard line stance, and uh, he was off to Houston. And, just think back. Would they have won titles together and how many? Now, here's Doncic in the game against New Orleans. Very impressive. They get it again. McGee off on the layup. Well, he creates such a great opportunity right at the rim, and he just can't get it to go, even with the defense not really a factor. Gilgis Alexander against Hardaway. Passes to Mann. Gilgis Alexander surveying the D. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. And they take the lead. This is the area where Dort has really shown some massive improvement. Great touch from that range. Hard away against Gilgis Alexander. On Chick's left side. That's in for the first basket of the game after three attempts. And I like the subtle adjustment he made to create a little space for that one. Yeah, that's an awesome finish there for sure. Not allowing that big guy to have his way or, or alter the shot. Now, here's Holmgren. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Pass to man. Dort kicks to Gilgis Alexander. On deep. Bullock with the rebound. And he missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-up, so maybe just a step too far. Now oh, he's jacked in for the Mavericks. Maxi Kleba comes in for Reggie Bullock. Maxi Kleba. Here's Hardaway. Greg, you have to love the impact that Tim Hardaway Jr. has had on the defensive end. He's got a great wingspan to bother shooters and contain penetration. Always aware of where the ball is on the floor. You could call him an underrated defender. Shooting two. That free throw good from Hardaway. And the question for the Mavs is simple. How do you best build around Luka Doncic? They'll try to answer that in the coming years. Nilakina, he's checked in for Dorian Finney-Smith.
Hardaway hits them both. Thunder trailing by three. Here's Mann. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. Pass to Pakusevsky. Beyond the clock, outside, Gilgis Alexander. And it's off from three-point range. And Greg, it just seems for the Mavs, it's all about finding the right fit for the role play. Yeah, that's why this team was willing to move on from Porzingis. Going forward, you can see them look a lot like the hard era Rockets. Now his touch has left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need from him. Out of bounds. Oh, Dallas wow. takes possession. The grind of the NBA season wears on. But what a pleasure this year is turning out to be. Let's check out the West and see how the standings look. Let's take a look at Dallas. Quite a season they've assembled here, guys. Perched up there in first place and playing terrific basketball game in and game out. And, of course, the Oklahoma City Thunder just need to take it a game at a time. And, you know, for the Mavericks, they've got their sights set pretty darn high right now. After what they've done this season, their goal is nothing short of a title. A massive amount of confidence, tremendous swagger with this team, and they believe in themselves. That might be all it takes to get them where they want to go. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And Greg Anthony for Shea Gilgis Alexander. Part of a growing trend in this NBA, giving his team length in the backcourt. Yes, yeah, 6'6 with a 6'11 wingspan. He can see over the top of the defense. He helps you on the glass, and he can switch onto front court players defensively. That's what teams are looking for nowadays. No good on the free throw. The Mavericks GA have been trying to tighten up their defense the past few seasons, and it's beginning to show. And we're seeing signs that the players are getting the message, that they're spending more energy at that end of the floor, and that's essential for any elite team. Dallas making a switch here. Bairdson has checked in. He hits the second from the line. Going forward, the Thunder have a ton of draft capital for them to put a lot of first-round picks either to play for themselves or in play to make some significant trades. Lots of flexibility there. Now, here's Doncic. He's scoring at a rate that puts him at another level. As impossible as it seems, He's truly averaging about 36 points a game. For Oklahoma City, they've gone just 2 of 7 so far. A little bit of a slow start for them. And Oklahoma City with all those picks, Brent, should be interesting to see how they use them. Yeah, and that process has already started in the 22 draft. They used some of that capital to line up some players they have on their current roster. So. It's really interesting at some point what it is that the front office does to say this is our team and this is who we're moving forward with. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. 11 points for him in that last game against Washington. And guys the other thing that he did well was just facilitate the offense. Pass the ball around beautifully in that one. Seriously put on a passing clinic. Well if he's going to keep shooting they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Williams against Berton. He dishes it to Doncic over Wiggins. And it's Jay Gilgis Alexander with the rebound. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. And they're unable to get the time basket there. Well, he's just really struggling right now with everything he's throwing up. Nothing really helping out in terms of his confidence. I mean, these ones aren't even close. And it's just one of those days, guys. He has just struggled to shoot the basketball. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. After Luka Doncic's miss, nice team from Doncic. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. No, I haven't seen him in comfortable spots, or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in. Gilgis Alexander passes to Basley. Gilgis Alexander against Doncic. 
The shot's good from Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got five points so far. Gilgis Alexander becoming more and more comfortable where he can score on the floor. Now the pass to Nilekina. Back to Doncic. And he banks in the lane. Doncic has got his second bucket. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Gilgis Alexander against Doncic. Gilgis Alexander passes to Muscala. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. First person will foul. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Mike Muscala at the line for two. And the first one at the line is good. Dort, he's checked in for the Thunder. Second free throw, no good. And this Thunder team in desperate need of a veteran. Someone on their way out that can still be productive and provide some leadership for the young guys. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Outside, Dort. Shot from 12. Ruscala misses. Dallas leading by five. Conjic's outside. 36 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Kleba, the pass to Bertens. Takes the three. Kleba, no good. And it's Wiggins with the ball for the Thunder. Defeated by the Wizards in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, you saw the communication breakdowns defensively. Just giving up way too many open looks. Yeah, sometimes you can play good on ball defense, but it's the help defense that makes you elite. And on that night, nobody rotating and not a lot of help. And a deep three from Doncic. No good on the last second attempt there. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. The Mavericks lead by three. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. Second quarter, fairly close game so far. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Dallas? And right from the jump, they've been working hard to establish themselves inside, using agility and power to get shots in the paint. So much good energy and flow tonight, and that has really come out a great ball movement. Guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. Under trailing by three. A pairing up front, Baisley and Holmgren. Then it's Wiggins. Then it's Lou Dort. And it's Mann in at the point guard position. That's the lineup out there for the Thunder. Now here's Holmgren. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. And once Holmgren gets the ball in there, he can finish in so many ways. Here's Nilakina. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Here's Pertinus. And the shot is long. The Thunder shooting at 36% on the night. They've got to step it up offensively. Man passes to Holmgren. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. The Mavericks shooting just 35%. They've got to get better looks. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. That's the latest, David. Thanks a lot, guys. Josh Giddy has been attracting admirers, including LeBron James. King said he's really, really good. He has a great pace about the game, great vision. Josh is one of those kids who can definitely see the game a lot quicker than most guys out on the floor, and he's showing it. 
just been playing beautiful basketball. Kevin, that's high praise. It is both amazing passes. David, thank you. Well, I I'm encouraged watching Holmgren finish through contact because it's something he's going to have to do consistently. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. Nice take. Staying aggressive with this game still very much up in the air. Here's Finney Smith. Looking in his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. Passes it to Bertans. Six on the shot clock. Bullet kicks to Finney Smith. From deep three-point range, it's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Last time they came together was in Dallas, where they fell to the Mavericks. Yeah, and their last time out against this club, turnovers really did them in. Just way too many mistakes. Yeah, that had to have been number one priority for the coaching staff coming into this one, limiting those turnovers and making sure they don't beat themselves this time. Neely Kina passes to Bertans. He lobs up the alley -oop pass, up high to stuff the alley -oop. Greg, we know from time to time things get pretty chippy out there. What kind of things would get under your skin when you played in the NBA? Oh, you know, guys tended to talk a little trash. And that could rally you. That, that could bother you at times. But you really just try to maintain your focus and keeping your eye on the prize. Neely Keena kicks to Finney Smith. Now about three minutes gone in the second quarter of basketball. Tries from seven. Bertans can't get it to go. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Holmgren the pass to Dort. Wiggins outside. Oklahoma City moving it around. Pass to Mann. And here is Holmgren. Shoots over Powell. That one off the back iron and out. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. And the shot goes in. Neil Aquina can make some noise around the rim at that size. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, they need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Now, here's Holmgren, guarded by Powell. Holmgren kicks to Wiggins. Pass to Basil. Here's Holmgren. Shoots over Powell. Off the mark from 16 feet out. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Here's Neela Kina. Score it for his third straight basket in three tries. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Now, here's Holmgren, guarded by Powell. Neely Kina looking it over. Fires from 14. Wiggins with the rebound. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Now, here's Holmgren, guarded closer. And the pass to Mann. Now, here's Dort. Here's Mann. That's the three fly. The shot by Basley, no good. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. And they're trailing by five. Pass to Holmgren. To the wing right side. To the paint. The shot's good from Beasley. Beasley's got good size at 6'8", so down on the interior with that length, tough to stop. A unique type of player, Chet with great length and skill, but the keys to reaching his potential will be durability and improving his strength. And it'll be the Mavericks with their first time out here of the game.
so it's both teams making substitutions here. Foul on Pokershevsky. That is his first foul of the game. First personal foul. First team foul. Hardaway finds McGee. And here is Doncic. He's got six. Back to Hardaway. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. You can stay active on defense. Good things usually happen. Right there, quick hands helped alter what would have been a sure two there. Back to Dort. Over in the corner, Williams. Just five to shoot. Let's it go with a three. Dort misses. Mavericks leading by three. Anjic outside. Pass to Finney Smith. The Trey. The shot off that time. And it's Oklahoma City the other way. That'll be game one of a four-game road trip. Outside Williams. Out to the right wing. Here's the screen. Akusevsky, the pass to Moscow. Now Doncic. Shoots over Gilgis Alexander. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Dishes it to Williams. Back to Gilgis Alexander. That one falls. Gilgis Alexander's got seven points in the game. And they've repeatedly fallen inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Doncic left side. A floater, and it's good on the way in. He's got eight. And that's the way to close. Once Doncic has this type of look, game over. Williams dishes to Muscala. It's rebounded by Doncic. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Mavericks. It's a three-point game. Good work there as it goes. And sure, he's got a few tricks up his sleeve there. Doncic's handles are very impressive. Gilgis Alexander against Hardaway. Makusevsky with the bucket. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Mavericks leading by three. And the Mavericks call Mavericks. time here. And about Pokushev, what a nice addition he's been, Brent, to the roster for Oklahoma City. Well, he adds some nice size to the roster. And by that, I mean kind of just height. He is a pretty uh, skinny player out there. But he's a good scorer. He can handle the ball. He's got some skills as a big guy. It's about calming down a little bit and finding some more consistency with the role that he plays. <laughs>
151 left in the first half of basketball. Doncic. Nice pick there to create the shot, but it's no good. Even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level, and his tonight has been high. With some arc, Camp it goes, and the Dallas hit is cut down to one, and the bucket from Gilgis Alexander. They are attacking the rim and getting great results. Anjic passes to McGee. Inside. It's blocked. Hardaway against Gilgis Alexander. Over Hardaway. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. Finney Smith kicks to Doncic. There's a minute left in the first half of the game. Out to the wing. Dallas moving it around. Shot clock at five. For the three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Doncic has got 13. A great disruptor of the basketball. Luka taking matters into his own hands tonight. Great to see him play like this. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Nine points in the game so far. Down low, stolen by McGee. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Kleba, the pass to Hardaway. Hardaway is screen on Williams. Now, here's Kleba. An 11 point game for him in the win against New Orleans. Yeah, after a first quarter where they struggled from long range, they've really started to get it closer to the basket. Gilgis Alexander with it. On deep. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And we've reached halftime in this one. The Mavericks on top, up six. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Coach Jason Kidd. Jason, how do you feel about your team's performance? I feel great. You know, we're sharing the ball, we're making extra pass, but we're attacking the paint. And if we can continue to do that, it puts us in a good seat. Jason, thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. And thank you for joining us as with two quarters in the book, looking good for the Dallas Mavericks. You look at the play of their bench, this second unit is doing exactly what the coach is looking for. It's a luxury to have this kind of support. I mean, I know we talk about team depth all the time, but that's been the difference tonight. And guys, a look now at who's been really lighting it up from outside the arc. Although it's a little early, it's fun to just think about the three-point contest. Those guys can shoot the rock, Ernie. The three-point shot has never been more important to offenses. That makes these guys that much more impressive. Thanks for spending halftime with us. Time to get it back out to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Thunder trailing by six. Getting underway in the second half. Here's the five for Jason Kidd. Inside form, it'll be Finney Smith and McGee. At the guard positions, it's Doncic and Hardaway Jr. And it's Bullock in at the three, the small four. And the dunk by Holmgren. I mean, length and skill. And Holmgren has a lot of both. Gilgis Alexander against Hardaway. To the inside. And it's Bullock shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. That one on Dort. Yeah, just nice strength there, and then just the off the with the shot. The Mavericks have gone two for two in the game at the line. Taking two shots. Two 
And the first one drops. So Bullet nails both of them. And you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. Gil just Alexander passes to Holmgren. Back to Gil just Alexander. It's good. Coaches love Gil just Alexander and the way that he's working. He's refusing to give in against that kind of airtight defense. The Thunder have made four free throws from the line and missed two. Junior. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your Thunder, Shane Gilgis Alexander. At the line for one. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. On the free throw, no good. Such a long and versatile guard that possesses a very intriguing and exciting skill set. Gilgis Alexander, lots of room to grow. And here's Bullock from the arc. And it's Shade Gilgis Alexander with the rebound. Gilgis Alexander's got rebound number five here tonight. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldrin. Thanks, guys. Well, the Thunder are trying to build something that will last. The front office says you stick to your principles, your values, and you think long term. We're focused on building a sustainably great team. We continue to be forward facing in that respect. Kevin, back to you. It's a good philosophy, and they're not looking for any shortcuts, which is admirable. David, thanks. And here is Doncic following Lou Dort's three. Side Hardaway. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. It's fascinating to watch Dort evolve his game. He's raised his free throw percentage to 84% last year. And for the first time in his career, he shot over 40% from the field. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. So what would you say is next for Dort in his development? You know, Kevin, I'd like to see him get to the line more often. He has room to grow as a playmaker. Of course, locking down the consistency from range. But he has the work Two ethic shots. to make all of that happen. And that one drops. He ties it up. On the Mavericks with some changes. Dwight Powell's checked in for JaVale McGee. Davis Bertans comes in for Dorian Finney-Smith. And it's Neela Kina in for Doncic. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Shaking his head moment there. Had a chance to put them out in front. But at least they're tied up. Wow, wow, he got whacked. Oh, no. Shouldn't be much debate there. This is his second trip to the free throw line. And he's shooting his free throws to the tune of 75% this season. Fairly standard number. He's off on the first. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. For Oklahoma City, they've gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the half. Dort misses. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. 
Here's Nilakina. Six points for him. Just five on the clock. To the middle. It's tipped. And here is Dort. He's got eight. Here's Mann. Right side, Gilgis Alexander. And there's Holmgren. That's good on the assist by Gilgis Alexander. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Neely Kina passes to Bertans. Bullock kicks to Bertans. Pass to Neely Kina. Looking to end the run. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. If you get aggressive like that, the defense has to react, and Neil Aquina, the beneficiary of it. The Mavericks shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. And in terms of team numbers, uh, the free throw percentage is right at 74. Free throw missing. Baisley's checked in for Oklahoma City. Wiggins comes in for Shea Gilgis Alexander. And he sinks the second. Here's Mann. Little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Holmgren gets the bucket. And the execution has just been off defensively here in the second. Play after play, it's almost as if they're a step slow. Here's Nilakina. He has seven. Now Hardaway over Wiggins. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It feels like he can take on anyone on the inside. Hardaway Jr. loved the aggressive attitude there. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. Hardaway Jr. taking two shots. This is the free throw. And he's good on the second. Here's Mann. The pass to Holmgren. Here's Pakushevsky. He's guarded by Bullock. Fires from 14. Holmgren can't hit. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot, even with little or no defense on you. Knocks down the three ball. No way he's going to pass that shot up. The D is way too far back and relaxed in getting out on him. This is it to Holmgren. Shoots over Powell. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And a savvy pump fake move from the rookie Holmgren. That kind of intelligent play could serve him well in the regular season. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. First one falls for him. And something to like about Holmgren is his ability to run the floor. A seven-footer who can get up the court in a hurry and get to the rim before the D gets set. Got 
he doesn't get the second one. He was able to tie it up. He has to be disappointed that he could not give his team the lead. Here's Nilakina. He has seven. Outside Hardaway. Over Wiggins. Thunder with the rebound. And yeah, they're going to try to search out for somebody that's got a hot hand right now. One of four to start the half. Pass to Holmgren. Here's Pakrusevsky. Now here's Holmgren. 13 points in the game. And that one is good. And after a first half in which their offense shot under 40%, they got the lead and they should count themselves to be lucky. Dallas calls timeout. in for Holmgren. And it's Kenridge Williams in for Paul Kuszewski. The Mavericks also with a sub. Kleba's checked in. City on D. The lead is two. Ertzinus, the pass to Nilekina. Now, here's Bullock, covered by Wiggins. Back to Bullock. An easy two points on the lane. Bullock's got seven points here in this quarter. Nilekina sensing when one of his guys was not covered, and then he found him. Pass to Wiggins. Williams kicks to Wiggins. It's a nice passing by Oklahoma City here. to the right wing. Here's Baisley and the Thunder another three. Man, getting Baisley to do that where he's consistently hitting jumpers. That's the next step. Here's Nilakina. He has seven. To the paint. Here's Bullock. That one no good. Now Oklahoma City takes it the other way. Here's Baisley, Kleba defending. Baisley passes to Williams. Here's Mann. Lock at six. And that one hits back iron. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Here's Nilakina. Averages about uh, five points a game. Another three for Dallas. Well, that'll make a defender's hands full if Nilakina can stretch it out that far. Man passes to Wiggins. There's a good screen. Oh, he 
blocked it and deflects off the backboard. And there's the pass to Nilekina. Bullock with it. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game to the inside. Ertans kicks to Powell. Here's Nilekina. To the wing on the left for the lead. Kleba, no good. The Thunder have gone 7 of 12 from the floor since coming out of the break. Williams looking over the floor. On the wing, Wiggins. He's guarded by Bullock. Baisley at balls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Baisley's got five points in the quarter. Dallas calls timeout. Checked in for Powell. Dorian Vinny Smith comes in for Davis Bertans. And Doncic is subbed in for Nila Kina. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. That will be their second of this five game road trip. Passes it to Kleba. The shot's good on the assist by Doncic. Doncic has got his third assist on the night. Guys, we're not through three quarters of play, but six lead changes already in this one. Yeah, competitive, and, and I think we all can agree that we thought this would be the type of game that would come down to this. Grant, the lead up to the 2019 draft was an interesting time for Darius Basel. Yeah, here's one of those players who opted out of going to college and ended up working for a shoe company prior to going to the draft a year before. Talked about going the G League route, but trained on his own, got himself ready, and he's showing some steady improvement here. The first one falls. For all the rawness and the inexperience of Darius Baisley, he's starting to show that he's settling in to playing at this level. Shea Gilgis Alexanders checked in for the Thunder. Both shots good from the strike. A minute 42 left in the third. And here's Bullock. He has seven. Pass to Kleba. On the wing, Doncic. Shot clock at five. Over Williams. Here's McGee. And terrific work on the offensive glass when he picks up two. McGee's got eight points. Neither side has relented a bit in this back and forth affair. You can sense the energy in the building already as this game is starting to build towards having a terrific finish. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 12. Misses from short range. 55 seconds left here in the third quarter. Bullock dishes to Doncic. Doncic. 
floats one, and the basket is good. Now it's a three-point Maverick lead. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. 32 seconds left to play in the third. Easton Muscala. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Gilgis Alexander's got six assists now in the game. Now, here's Doncic. He's got 15. There's 14 seconds left to play in the third. McGee sets the pick for Doncic. Fires for three. That one doesn't drop. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a two ball game here. Mavericks lead by one. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this speed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. That's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. Outside the wings are Gilgis Alexander and Torch. Then it's Williams. Then there's Holmgren. And it's Pokushevsky in at the four. It's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. Here's Hardaway. The 18-footer is right on the mark. Hardaway has got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for Dallas. Under trailing by three. Williams up on top. Guarded by Doncic. And Gilgis Alexander, here we go. It's rebounded by Dallas. Doncic has got four rebounds in this game. Hardaway is screen on Gilgis Alexander. On to Hardaway. Here's the three. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Holmgren's got his sixth rebound on the night. Gilgis Alexander passes to Williams. Trying to break that ice cold streak. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. First person. It's on Luka Doncic. Gilgis Alexander, such growth in his first year, continues to show he's learning this game. Gilgis Alexander at the line for two. Shooting two. And he makes the first. And maybe he's starting to find his form at the line. He certainly had his share of chances. And the Thunder making a change here. Mann's checked in. Gilgis Alexander hits them both. And he's starting to round back into shape after what's been a pretty off night from the line. Now, here's Doncic. He's guarded close. Here's Finney Smith. No good with the triple. Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that. And that's a bad miscue. And you can't give up looks like that all game long. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Yeah, the defender all over. And a moment now, look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Mavericks. Guys, the D hasn't had an answer for the three-point shooting, which is why they continue to just fire away from deep. And I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle, the hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. Oh, 
and that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. Outside Hardaway, from deep three-point range, Gilgis Alexander pulls it in. Gilgis Alexander's got eight rebounds in this game. Tipped. Here's Finney Smith on the wing, Doncic. Now Hardaway back to Doncic. Shot clock at six. And it's out of bounds. It's touched by Doncic. And a quick look at how the Oklahoma City Thunder's schedule is shaping up. On Tuesday, they'll be matching up against Kyle Lowry and the Miami Heat. Then on Thursday, they'll be facing Joel Embiid and the Philadelphia 76ers. And if I'm this team, I'm looking at this as a barometer to see how we stack up against some of the top teams in the league. They'll have to be at their best. But if they come out of this with some success, I think it'll build momentum for the rest of the run. Now, he's put on a shooting display here in the second half. He really seems to be in a great groove right now. Doncic right side. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And great intensity here down the stretch. He's not one to shrink in the moment. Well, take a look at him. Locked in right now in this moment. Wants the ball in his hands and feels real comfortable with the shot he's taking. I tell you what, I don't know what he did in the locker room, but he needs to do a little bit more of it because he's on fire. Now here is Hardaway. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. And it's Doncic missing. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with two sets. And SGA up there getting that flush to go. Average trail by five. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. The pass to Kleba. Takes a three. He can't get it to go. And Oklahoma City will go with it the other way. Passes it to Mann. Fires the three. Oklahoma City keeps it going. A new shot clock of 14 seconds. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Has to pop. Doncic left side. They double up Doncic. Six to shoot. Dallas again missing. But Thunder leading by five. Up top, Dort. Guarded by Doncic. Gilgis Alexander against Hardaway. Steps back and shoots. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. Out of bounds. Oklahoma City's exposition. And the Mavericks with some changes. There to this. He's checked in for Maxi Kleba. And it's Reggie Bullock in for Reggie Dorian Finney-Smith. Here's Oklahoma City now. Big stretch here going 10-2. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Holmgren. Outside, Dort, pass to Holmgren. Back to Dort. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. No good on the three. Mavericks trailed by five. Hardaway with it. Doncic feeling it out. The pass to Bertis. Side Hardaway. Three pointer. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Not a way to get out of a funk. He needs to be looking for good, solid, more efficient shots. Not the wild one he took there. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Feeds it to Holmgren. 
Gilgis Alexander against Hardaway. And that's a foul called on Shane Gilgis Alexander. That'll be his second foul of the game. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Baisley's checked in. And Dallas with a change here, too. McGee's checked in. Now here is Hardaway. Shoots over Gilgis Alexander. Runs out of bounds. The Mavericks able to retain possession here. Here's Hardaway. His shooting this quarter has to be a huge concern, especially when they're behind like this. Can he find the rhythm? I love the determination he showed there, getting himself into good position under the glass. With the presence of mind to know just where the rebound was going to come down. Well timed. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. Sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Hey, guys. During the last break, here's what Mark Dagno was telling his team. He said, keep grinding. We're in good shape. Things aren't always going to go perfectly. Don't let that slow you down. Let's just stick to what got us here. Kevin, we'll see if they can build on this lead. Thank you, David. The Thunder leading by three. Here's Mann. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. And he jams it with authority. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, well, he settled settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. And here are the Mavericks now. The Thunder making the shot to the left wing. Bullock passes to Bertans. Drills the three-pointer. And those are the types of shots down the stretch that win you ball game. Oklahoma City's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Gilgis Alexander against Hardaway. McGee with the block. Tries again. And Gilgis Alexander with the layup. Gilgis Alexander's got 13 points here in the second half alone. Dallas calls timeout. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best.
Dorian Finney-Smith's check in for Bear Chicks. Here's Hardaway. Doncic outside. McGee sets the pick for Doncic. And Holmgren pulls it down. The Thunder leading by four. Pass to Mann. Plays it up and banks it in. Yeah, nothing too fancy. It, it, just getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. Here's Doncic. The Thunder pull it in. Beasley's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Pass to man. It's deflected. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. And there's the pass to Holmgren. Five to shoot. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's on JaVale McGee. And you know teams are going to be physical with Holmgren, but he's aggressive, and boy, he plays with passion. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Good on the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. They're in front by seven. 149 left in the fourth quarter of this one. And the second free throw, no good. A tough break there. Mavericks trail by seven. Bullock dishes to Doncic. One thirty-seven left to play in the final quarter. Vinny Smith. Another shot. Goes up again, and the layup good by McGee. Don't want to ever give up points on the boards. That's the lesson for the team there. That's a hustle play to save points. Gilgis Alexander against Hardaway. 
And here is Gilgis Alexander. Over Hardaway. And too long on the shot. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Mavericks. It's good! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. How about the poise from Doncic right there? He ups the ante when it's a critical possession here in the game. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. the shot and picks up two points so one free throw coming up Gildas Alexander gonna celebrate that one defensive foul T.F. Hardaway Jr. the third personal foul fourth team foul find the lanes find the lanes at the line shot. for your Oklahoma City Shane Gildas Alexander shooting one going for the jugular. A few more trips like that, and you might be able to see this one in the books. So this is a do-or-die possession. They have got to get points. Well, you can't make any mistakes right here if you want to keep hope alive. Their execution has to be precise. And, and the definition of teamwork right there on that alley. And Greg, what about the finish? Bringing it down with some thunder. thunder. Yeah. At the line before your thunder. Line for two. Shooting two. He drops the first one, and that puts them up by five. So he gets them both, and it's a six point ball game. Free throws always a little bit sweeter when they can add to your lead. Here's Doncic, and it's Baisley with the rebound. And now they decide to foul intentionally. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And so both free throws are good, and it's an eight-point game. 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Anjic passes to McGee for three. Bullock, yes! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, pretty infectious right here, guys. In good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. At the line for two. Shoot two. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaker. And the second of two is good. That increases their lead to six. And the Mavericks call time here. They're trailing by six. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? Still a sliver of hope. Yeah, act fast, but without mistakes. Here comes your thunder girl.
17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And here's Doncic from the arc. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City, so they foul intentional. Fourth personal foul. At the line for your home city, Shea Gilchrist Alexander. Taking two shots. First one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And so he drops them both. It's an eight-point game. Side Hardaway keeps it alive. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Well, a missed box out and an easy tip in, but it's because of the activity as the ball is going up, finding yourself in the right spot, just using some effort. So it's Oklahoma City picking up the win. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them late. Yeah, I mean, they faced some challenges, but really held firm when they needed to. It was on both ends, and just effective in terms of coming away with this win. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. Now, let's check out our New Balance player of the game, Shea Gilgis-Alexander.